I want to spend time with my kids. So if I have to spend the whole day in the kitchen, we get flour all over ourselves. We're laughing at each other, you know, okay. That's part of the fun. And then because we're doing these seasonal things now, we just had a family meeting about what we want for 2021. And we're going to do this for uh, the equinoxes and for, you know, the summer solstice, and then, you know, not make the gift giving so big at one time of the year. Let's like give a little gift at all of those seasons. But one thing that I've noticed in my life is that at first I I delegated all those, those household things like, oh, I'm going to get a personal chef and, and I've done that. And it's like, delegate all of our food. And you know what I'm doing now? I'm delegating more of my work and getting back to making my own food because those things matter. And they're, they're really close to the love and our family and to make food for our family. And it's not always the case. Do I always do that? No, but we're working towards that. I would like to get it to where together as a family, we're making every meal together. That's just not plausible. Maybe it never will be. Maybe that's wish for them, but maybe it will. You know, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know, but I'm just, uh, just notice what we're delegating and what do we want? And this kind of goes back to other discussions we've had is like, what do you want in your life? It's by design. So start planning that. So if you want to cook more and, and you want to make those doilies, then guess what? You got to plan that that's planning your fun. You, then you make, you make that, you want to make that sweater, then you got to plan it. I'm going to work on it an hour every day for the next three months to have that done for uh, the solstice or to have it done for Christmas or to have it done for Hanukkah or, or whatever, whatever it is, Kwanzaa, like, you know, you name it, whatever holiday you want to celebrate right now, then, uh, you know, put, put that time there, ask yourself what you would like and then make the time for it. And then, you know, Javon, if you want to keep that tamale, uh, tradition, you know, you can do a small batch with you and your wife. Like I did that for a long time. It's a I, lot of work. I know. <laughs> my wife I know. get me to learn how to make it by myself. My, that's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. And you know what? I want to say something. I'm going to make an announcement for myself and for you, Giovanni. Cannolis is a big task, right? Like as like a tamale, like it's an all day event to make cannolis, to have that couple minutes of a treat in your mouth, <laughs> right? And and uh, I don't want that to be lost. And so last year I made it with my son and it was awesome. And I want to do it again. And yes, it's a big day to plan. And, and we used to do it all together. So you'd make these huge batches, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to figure out how to make smaller batches or make a big batch and give it away. And so then that's a thing to give away, but I don't want that to be lost. So I'm just, in, I guess I'm throwing a little encouragement your way, Giovanni. Like I'd say, do it and plan for it. And yes, it's a lot of work, but make it a time of love for you and your family. And then let that tradition keep going. Even if you have to make that and give it away to all your neighbors. I know when we grew up, everyone loved the holidays because all of our neighbors got cannoli. And uh, so, you know what, even though it's because the recipe comes in like dozens it's not like i don't even know if i can make a small batch i don't know how i would because all the measurements i don't even know how to divide it that small so i think everyone gets cannoli you want a cannoli you get a cannoli hey you come hey they deliver the mail hey you want a cannoli we gotta get it We're, either way <laughs> we just give them away <laughs> so yeah yeah and steve i just also want to say for those that have children or are about to have children um the things that you do will seem normal to the kids. So you're saying it takes a long time, Giovanni, to, you know, to make that. And Steve, you're saying it, it takes a long time and you make a ton. Um, as you do that, that will seem normal. That, you know, making these gifts around whatever holiday you're celebrating, that will seem normal. That will be normal for them. And it doesn't have to be a long time because actually, oh. what do we want to do? You know what I want to do, Giovanni? I want to spend time with my kids. So if I have to spend the whole day in the kitchen, we get flour all over ourselves. We're laughing <laughs> at each other. You know, okay, that's part of the fun. And then because we're doing these seasonal things now, we just had a family meeting about what we want for 2021. And we're going to do this for uh, the equinoxes and for, you know, the summer solstice, and then, you know, not make the gift giving so big at one time of the year. Let's like give a little gift at all of those seasons. And that's what it was supposed to be like celebrating the harvest, you know? So, so anyway, just these are, well, I guess what we did today, and I'm glad we all did it. We brought all these new, I just, you know, and they're not new. They're actually old. It's like, we got to go back to celebrating and having mm -hmm. ceremony traditions. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, making memories.
That's it. And whatever you want it to be, let it be, but let's not let that. And what are they, everything we talked about is together. It's either like doing things together, doing things for each other, feeding each other, uh, and making it special, like not grab and go food. And, you know, cause I think that's the holiday. It's like, Oh, what gifts am I going to get? Let's grab some food. Okay. We're going to host this, have this potluck, make this. It's like, no, you know what? Slow down, put the love back in it. Let's make the food together. Let's all get in the kitchen. Uh, you know? Yeah. I, and I hope this helps everyone listening. And even just for us, I, I know this reinforces it for me because it's only been the last three years. We've really been trying to forge, uh, you know, like we said, kind of looking back to move forward again, you know? Hey there, I want to give you something really big. It's called Clear Path to Customers. It's the way that we get the right language to get the right client. I like to call them your wow clients so that you can have more results, more revenue, more raving fans, and more referrals. And I want to give this to you absolutely free. And all you have to do is go to stevenoplaton.com to check it out. Or you can look at the description here. We'll put the details there. As always, remember, choose gratitude and create freedom.